A number of people have asked me, why did I write Read to Succeed? Well, let me tell you. I spend a lot of time in the car listening to podcasters and they talk incessantly about the books that they're reading. And they bring on these authors and they interview these authors and it really just gets me excited about all these new ideas that I'm learning. So I started amping up my reading habits and in doing so, I found out I got luckier and luckier at work. And as I further researched this, I found out I wasn't the only one who was improving at work based on reading. I look back to a lot of famous people uh, and what they were reading and the libraries they were building, and they went out to do amazing things. Reading puts you in contact with coaches. These are individuals that are sharing their expertise and letting you know the shortcuts that you can go through to achieve the same type of success that they're having. Let me tell you what's in Read to Succeed. The book is broken down into three main sections. The first section is why. Why should you read? I'm gonna talk about my journey. We're gonna investigate some of these famous people and what they were reading and, and how that led to their success. We're gonna look at the benefits of reading and talk about why you should have a reading habit. Next, we break into the how. This gets into the mechanics of reading. So we're gonna talk about how you can go about setting up a reading habit, establishing goals and how to measure those goals, but also the how to read itself, breaking down the mechanics of actually reading. A lot of people say, well, I know how to read, but what if you could read faster? That would allow you to consume more information and put it into place and make you luckier at work. Additionally, we're gonna talk about note-taking and we're also gonna talk about other reading strategies. We're also gonna look at when and where and what you should be reading. So books come into different formats. They're printed books or eBooks or audio books. And where can you find those books? How can you keep um, tapped into uh, ideas of what you should be reading? And then being able to carve out space where you can sit down and relax and read and finding the time to do these kind of things, right? That's one of the biggest struggles that I hear people talk about. I just don't have time to read. And I'm gonna show you how you can find that time. And in the end, we're gonna talk about how you put this all into practice and take what you're reading to make your life and your work that much better. So this is Read to Succeed. I'm excited about it. I think you will find this uh, invaluable as you are starting to develop your professional reading habits.